Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I welcome you to another voice actor spotlight. Sometimes you'll hear something on TV and you'll just perk up. Could be a song, could be a show's intro, or it could be a voice. For me, it's this voice. You are the betrayer! When I hear that voice, I stop anything I'm doing and I focus on the voice. I don't care what's on TV, I just want to hear the voice. And that voice is Keith David. I first watched Keith David in the 80s most epic street fighting scene, going toe to toe with Rowdy Rowdy Piper in the movie They Live. All that testosterone for a pair of glasses. Amazing. Man, I told you, I didn't want to be in. Born on June 4th, 1956 in New York, Keith found out he wanted to be an actor once he performed in his school's production of The Wizard of Oz. Keith followed that dream all the way through by enrolling at New York's high school for the performing arts and followed that by going to the Juilliard school. Renowned theater producer Joseph Papp hired Keith right after he graduated and made him an understudy for the role of Tullus Ophidius in William Shakespeare Corodianus. This job, combined with working on the New York Shakespeare Festival, was a great start for Keith. Classically trained, Keith won three Emmys out of six nominations as well as being nominated for a Tony Award. He has been involved in pretty much every medium, from stage, TV series, movies, and of course voice acting. Keith's work as a voice actor made him a household name. His rich and powerful voice has been featured in national commercials. Why should you consider getting an education in the Navy? This is one of your classrooms. Award shows, documentaries. Jody Cobb is a National Geographic photographer, covering a journey across Europe on the legendary Orient Express video games and animation. Let me show you the highlights of this man's career, because showing you everything would be a three season show. On TV he did nine episodes of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood as Keith the Andyman and did a lot of guest starring roles such as in The Oldest Rookie, Against the Law, The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, The Outer Limits, Tales from the Crypt, Law and Order, CSI, Grey's Anatomy, ER, Psych, and Mr. Robot. He also got many recurring and starring roles in TV series, including the job as Lieutenant Williams, the big house as Clarence Cleveland, enlisted as Sergeant Major Donald Cody, Community as Elroy Potashnik. There's no green three in billiards. Now there's a green six and a green 14, but never a green three. So, what sport is this from? And why was it in my RV? Like Jesus as Reverend Otis, and recently starred in the series Greenleaf as Bishop James Greenleaf. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. This here's a time for healing. In movies, he got to star as Child in the classic 1982 The Thing alongside Kurt Russell. Thought I saw Blair. I went out after him. Got lost in the storm. Then you got to see him in another classic, Platoon, when he portrayed King. How come you ain't writing nobody? What about your folks? That like grandma you was telling me about? Then you have a third 80s classic, They Live, performing the role of Frank. Justice Bill's over on 4th Street. They got hot food and showers. I'm going that way if you want me to show you. And believe it or not, a fourth classic in his repertoire when you got to see him as Ernie Bass in Roadhouse. Ernie, what's the story? Whiskey's running low. Then in the 90s, his biggest movies were probably Men at Work, where he played Lewis Feathers. There are several sacred things in this world that you don't ever mess with. One of them happens to be another man's fries. Now you remember that, and you will live a long and healthy life. Mark for that as Max. That looks good now. Last year, one of my best players OD on cocaine. I remember when the worst problem I had to worry about was one of them knocking up some girl. The puppet master as Alex Holland. Now whatever was hiding in that fake saucer was moved. All that was left was a hole filled with water. The quick and the dead as Sergeant Cantrell. I'm just a gentleman adventurer. Moseying into town for the challenge of a gunfight. Dead President, where he portrayed Kirby. You want to drive, kid? 
Who, me? No, not me, you, motherfucker. In the iconic, there's something about Mary where he played Mary's dad. Uh, let's have a look at it. <laughs> oh, for God, never say it! From the 2000s until now, he played in one of my favorite movies of all time, Pitch Black, playing Abu Imam Al Walid alongside Vin Diesel back when a Vin Diesel character didn't care about family. Once in every lifetime, should there be a great heart, a great pilgrimage. To get to know Allah better, yes, but to know yourself as well. He reprised that role in 2004 for the sequel, The Chronicles of Reading. There is no simple answer. Whatever was said, was meant to give us a chance, a fighting chance. He played Lester Wallace in Barbershop, Stapleton in Transporter 2, Terry Venable in both Blue and Blue the American Dream, and adding Agent Keith in Gamer. He worked as the narrator on the Bible, Freddy on Assault on Wall Street, starred and produced the short movie Bewildered about a jazz vocalist falling victim to dementia, portrayed Deputy Chief Spencer on 21 Bridges, and was Willy the Wonker in American Fiction. That's just a grain of sand in his pile of rolls. And alongside all this, he did a ton of voice work since the 90s. He started with dubbing Mama in the TV miniseries 3 by 3 Eyes, followed that with two roles on the Aladdin TV show, being Minos and King Zabar. Then we hit his first huge role in voice acting, Goliath. Even so, we will protect this castle. It's all we have left. Gargles was Disney's attempt to compete against shows like Batman, X-Men, and Spider-Man animated series. It's one of the rare original content from Disney, and it was done beautifully. It was a time of darkness. It was a world of fear. It was the age of gargoyles. Keith's voice and dramatic acting as Goliath was everything the character needed, making it a fan favorite to this day. You're awake. You're alive. We're together again. Of course, he kept voicing the character for the Goliath Chronicles and the Gargoyles remastered video game in 2023. Following this huge success, he got to voice the iconic Spawn in the TV series, who got cancelled after only 19 episodes. What a shame, this show was amazing. You... You go to your mommy now. She'll take care of you. You heard Keith on a lot more shows like 1994 Fantastic Four as Black Panther. In your honor. I designed my trap to be flame-proof and escape-proof. And three times as Apollo in Disney's Hercules movies and TV show. Plus the video game Hades Challenge. Uh, Hercules drive my solo chariot? He was Okoto in The Amazing Princess Mononoke. I believe you, and I thank you for it, young one. I am only grieved and ashamed that such a demon has come from our tribe and reprised Abu Imam al-Walid for the Chronicles of Reddick Dark Fury animated movie. It is a plantation operation. A boat like this loads up at port, signs on as many men as it can hold. He worked on The Legend of Tarzan as Tublat, Despero in Justice League and Atlas in Teen Titans, followed by Julius Little in the game Saints Row. Yeah, we cleared out the row. You think for a second that's gonna stop him? Unless we wipe all these motherfuckers out, they're gonna keep coming. Which he reprised for Saints Row 2 and 4, while adding himself to the characters list. You are an actor. A statesman. Did I ever tell you about the time I choked a man to death with my bare hands? But to my surprise, he was barricaded in the 2007 Transformers video game. Lord Starscream, I have scanned the police database for information on this Sam Witwicky. We've acquired his image from the database and are tracking. <laughs> and Grimlock in the 2022 show Earthspark. Thanks, kid. I needed to hear that. A lot of people will know him as Arbiter Telvadami from the Halo franchise. My friend's trust is not the issue today, Spartan Lock. It is my trust you must earn. Or as Captain David Anderson in the Mass Effect franchise. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. He was the main villain, the center, in the animated movie Justice League The New Frontier. You do not have the will! The cat in both Coraline movie and video game. And Chaos in This City of Final Fantasy and its sequel This City of 012. In the Princess and the Frog movie and video game he played Dr. Facilier, which he reprised in the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom ride for the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World, and the digital book Disney's Villain Challenger. Y'all should have taken my deal. Now you're gonna spend the rest of your life being a slimy little 
from. Kate was both the Flame King and Baltus in Adventure Time while also voicing streaming in regular show. He was Reverse Giraffe and the President on Rick and Morty, while on the Flash TV show he gave life to Solovar. I am the warden of this prison, Flash. None shall escape. Not even you. And for the game Destiny 2, he lent his voice to Zavala. One fire team infiltrated the Witnesses' monolith and shattered his hold on the Traveler's light. For the Stretch Armstrong and the Flex Fighters, he was Malcolm Kane, which he reprised for the Breakout, and became King Andreas for Amphibia and Disney's Broken Karaoke. In the Masters of the Universe Revelation and Revolution, he was the voice of the frightening Hordak. Take it! Take it and be reborn into the ravenous maw of havoc! Following that with a role in Has Been Hotel where he played Husk and adding Darkseid to his repertoire in Kite Man Hell yeah. And undoubtedly, this priceless weapon is being held in an impenetrable fortress. And you're probably wondering if a voice like that can be great for singing? It is. Keith has stored in two shows, one about Nat King Cole, too marvelous for words. Love is all that I can give to you. Nat King Cole is one of Keith's inspiration, so that must have been thrilling. The second show is called Here's the Life, about the incredible blues singer Joe Williams. If all this didn't convince you Keith has one of the best voice in the world, I don't know what will. And if this fan could get one wish, it would be for Keith to reprise the role of Goliath in the live-action Gargoyles movie. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Keith David's career. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment, I love reading those. Keep coming back, I have more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!